you know, sports, other things that were talked about, but mainly the trip came in, and it was a Memorial Day trip, and it was, you know, it was such a big thing, and all of, you know, young boys and girls got together and went down there, and I got a brief idea, but it wasn't until, um, say, two, uh, the, the end of 2001, December, when I went to the ball, and I violated my probation because I went to the ball in Macon. It was outside of my jurisdiction. I did not get permission. I kind of conned my way there by showing the, the, the address that says Prior Street is the same address that the that the ball was being held in Macon. He assumed, my probation officer assumed it was Prior Street Atlanta, gave me permission. So I had an ankle monitor on. Once I went there, I violated my probation, supervised release. I was incarcerated the next day in January of 2002. There, in jail, in prison, Ayub was incarcerated that same week for some reason. Unrelated incidents. Came in prison. They, but I don't know if they, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is how they designed it because we were co-defendants previously. So when I see him, I'm like, it was confusing. I'm like, man, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm looking at him. He's looking at me like, how are you? So it was baffling. I didn't question it. We had a conversation. We're talking. It's like, man, we're doing time again. So I'm like, I'm not going through this again. We're talking, and it began to unfold about the trip. He confided in me the things that was going on in January. It related it all out. All of it was tied in now with the, with the South Beach trip, the pictures, the conversation at the Thanksgiving dinner, me there, and me incarcerated. I gave a call to a brother. I'm not going to disclose the brother's name. Gave a call to a brother on the land and told them that there's a situation going on where Jake is conspiring against Dr. Malachi Z. York with members, girls of the community that left, went on a South Beach trip, laid it all out in a, on a phone in a phone conversation. The reply was, I was incarcerated. I, did, I was doing four months. So that was the only thing I can do. I wrote a letter, tried to inform whoever I could to get it to the but it was it was a brief response that wasn't detailed enough because of the lack of communication being incarcerated. Okay. I was released I did hundred and twenty days. I rele I was released in April. April the maybe like a week or two before before uh, the master got incarcerated on May eighth. When I was released I laid it all out. I wrote a letter. I could not go to the land because I was still on supervised release. It was outside my jurisdiction. I did not want to bring my activities or jeopardize what I was doing and bring it or affiliate it with the community. Even though they knew who I was because of my incarceration, anyone that knows when the federal government, they have a PSI, they lay out exactly who you are, wh where you're from, where you, what you were involved in, all of that is in my PSI. They knew I was in. They knew I was lived in, the, in the, on the land. They knew I was in the community. They knew I was affiliated with Dr. Malachi York's sons, Christopher Cornelius, one of them. They knew these things. That's, that they they pro. That's they. That's their business. That's their job. So, uh, getting it to him with the letter, I passed it to a brother and t to take it to him. And portions of that letter, the conspiracy letter, is in the flyer that came out two years later. Where if you read the flyer, you see excerpts from a letter that they say Jake's best friend wrote in reference to Jake coming to the house and asking, this is what, back to the point so you know what he came to the house for in, at Thanksgiving, he was asking about a house he wanted to purchase and he wanted me to defraud the paperwork to make his income higher than what he was making so he can purchase a bigger house which would gather or house the girls who left the land and place them in a position where he could manipulate the young individuals, bring them together, create the case, let make them make him appear as though he's the savior, he's the one that's going to look out for them because he has ties to the world. He put out Little Kim and he put out Junior Mafia, and he's this big so-called music industry icon that can help anybody that you know that leaves the land. You've been in prison, you've been you've been um, held back. You know that's not the way to live. Come to me. This is my house. I can do this for you. I can take you to parties. I can dance. He appealed to all of those things that people wanted. Those individuals that left, he gave it to them. They ran right to the lions. Then so with that purchase which he did I didn't do for him I told him no but I still had the paperwork I still had the paperwork that was given with the letter
to show. I had Jacob York, his address, his name, all the money that he had in his account from the amount he deposits. He wanted me to make the deposits bigger so the income and his yearly income would look appear larger. So when you go purchase a house, the bank could approve the loan. So that's with the with the whole uh, Thanksgiving thing when he came to the dinner. That's what it was. That's what it boiled up to. And I decided, I said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm already in and I'm trying to clear my name, get back on the right path, get back in good grace with the master teacher, get back in good grace with the community and, and straighten my name. I already did. I already served my time. There's no need for me to indulge back in those things. So I told him no, but he left the paperwork, which was a blessing. When I got out, I was able to give it to whoever was necessary at the time I didn't know anything I did four months I didn't know what was going on so I came out at the end of April a week later pops gets incarcerated he gets locked up so I'm like I, I know about the conspiracy I can testify about the whole from way back until up until that point first-hand information the, what, what he said was being done so to tie all that ends because a lot of people don't know where at what point I come in the picture it's like you know did you just pop up? Is this something you, where did you come from? And I want to make it clear to the family and to people who are listening, I, this is not something that's just a pop-up thing. This is an ongoing conspiracy from way back that started with this young guy, this young man, who said as well, and the feds watching him as well and having charges against him as well. They used him to use the individuals for the conspiracy because they needed a bigger fish to fry. And that's how it took place. And from then, um, with the trial, we talk about the trial, which is another show. I'm thinking I don't want to take up too much time, but I wanted I wanted to be very clear and specific on how that took place, and me uh, having that information about him defrauding, trying to defraud the government, which gives him a criminal charge. It knew it, um, it ties in to me going to trial and then blocking the testimony because of his. Um, involvement as an informant once he knew the charges against him he decided to uh, conspire with the other individuals to take the heat off of him to take the heat off of other individuals as well and to bring our master teacher down and take the land so if any questions to make it clear I don't want to take up too much time but any specific questions that people want to ask like the sister said the forum is open specifically for um, any one of us and I'll pass the mic to uh, Farah who can clearly clear up the South Beach trip because she was a part of the individuals who he tried to involve in the conspiracy. So you see how it ties in. Uh, well, I grew up in this. I've been here since I was a little baby. Um, I didn't grow up in the community in Philadelphia, but it was still instilled in me certain types of virtues to have as a young lady that we learned as a part of um, our community that we lived in. And so with that, um, I had family members that lived on the property of 404 Shady Dell Road, um, Tamaray, and they were actually a part of the conspiracy. They testified against the master teacher, which is another story, I guess. Um, I first got to know most of the people who were a part of the conspiracy because from leaving the land, a lot of the young ladies moved to my father's house because my sister lived on the land and she left and moved to my father's house. And so, she told them, you know, if you want somewhere to go, my father, you can come to my father's house. And he left the, he had, he had an open door type of thing. My father, um, he didn't mind people if he needed help. 